Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Ramp It Up Cardio Workout. This is an all body weight cardio workout where we will start back to basics and we will increase our intensity in 20 second increments. We're gonna ramp it up as we go, but of course I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your fitness level and be where you are today. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and start moving our bodies. You can march, you can step, you can jog, whatever you need to do to get the blood flowing, to get your heart rate up, to get our muscles warm and ready to move. We're gonna roll those shoulders. You can start small to the back, then take them a little bit bigger. We're gonna keep this warm up pretty short because we wanna keep this workout short. And as always, during the workout, I'm gonna encourage you to be where you are today. That is where you are in your fitness journey, your specific fitness level, and that also is just where you are today, whatever you're feeling like doing. So all body weight today, working in 20 second intervals, where we start back to basics, so let's step it out right through here, and then we increase in our intensity. That's where we ramp it up. So we start back to basics, we add some intensity, and then our third round, 20 seconds where we really go for it, we ramp it up. Quick little break, and then we go to our next move. So every exercise have, has three versions, but then you're done with it. It is a no repeat workout. Let's just open up our hips side to side right through here. Everything will be standing, but at the end of each circuit, there will be one exercise where you have the option to take it down to the mat, to add a little core or to increase your intensity from a plank position, but it is optional. You do not have to take it. You can keep everything standing if that's what's best for you. Flat back down and then round it up, warming up through that back right through here. And again, because we're standing and we're not adding any weight, we really don't have to go through as extensive of a warm up. but it's always good to get that mobility, get everything working and warm and ready to go. Hold it right here, roll those shoulders, here to here. We're gonna roll those hips, take it here, and add a little squat to that, right here, and squat. So I'm gonna encourage you in this workout to be where you are today, I'll say you do you. This is your workout, you get what you need. Maybe you need gentle cardio, you just need to move. Maybe you really wanna up that intensity, tap it back right here. So you're feeling like you really get that adrenaline going, work off some stress, or maybe you just need to be here with us today. Whatever it is you showed up today, you are successful. Let's take it here, cross. All right, team, so your first 20 seconds. Often what we do as part of our warm up is that little tap and reach. I'm gonna show you right here, you can keep those hamstrings, is we're gonna tap and reach over. Then we're gonna progress by taking you to that full jumping jack. If that's not right for you, you up your intensity here. When we ramp it up, we're gonna add a little power. Hang with me, here we go. So tap and reach over your head. Super simple. 20 seconds on these first rounds of our back to basics. I want you to focus on mobility, so really opening up the hips, reaching over your head. Now, if you want, we'll take it to those jumping jacks, up that intensity. Already ramping it up, but nothing crazy. You don't have to go super fast. Light on those toes, again, low impact. You can be here. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna take it to a power jack, and all that means is that we're adding a little squat down below. In three, two, one. So we're going down, power up. Down, power up, ramp it up. You can also keep that low impact. No jump. We're here to here. Yes, you can. 10 seconds to go. Then we get a quick breather into our next move. Three, two, one. Shake it out. So we're tapping out in between 20 seconds to breathe. Next move, here's what we got. We've got our Heisman side step. So we're gonna go one, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. When we add that intensity, we'll add a little hop step, then we'll add whew, high knees with it. Join me, step in side to side. Let's do it. One, two, three, tap. Pump those arms. So I want you to also think of this back to basics rounds 
as a little bit of an extension of your break, a little active recovery, right? Yes, you can. Here we go, if you can, hop it. Three, two, one, three, two. You can also still step it, but add that knee coming up to really pop it up. Stick the landing into those hips. Yes. Now we're gonna add some high knees. If you want, three, two, ramp it up. It's only 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. I'm losing my microphone in the back, but you keep going right here. High knees. Stick it for five, four, three, two, one. My microphone did not like that move. All right, 20 seconds to breathe. Here's what we got, team. We're taking it all on one side. So I'm turning to my right, my left knee. I'm gonna go front knee, side knee. First round, I'm taking it here to really, again, get that mobility. Then we step it up in three, two, one. Front knee, side knee. On this, I wanna think about range of motion. If you need a little balance, grab onto the wall and here, but pull it in, get those arms moving through your motions, up your intensity. Here we go, so we're gonna pull it up a little quicker. Our amp it up or ramp it up. <laughs> Earlier in the month, we had ramp it up cardio or amped up cardio. No, this is ramp it up cardio. Here we go. We're gonna ramp it up in three, two, if you want, add a jump. Jump, it's optional. You ramp it up in whatever way is good for you. Keep it going. Huh. Huh. Yes, you can. You'll notice you're gonna feel that leg burning just a bit. We love it for five, four, three, two, and breathe. Same thing, other side. So a little leg burn. We get that core and that good range of motion through our upper body. And then we add a little intensity, a little quicker speed. And then we add that jump if you want when we ramp it up. Earlier this month, we had amped up cardio where I said we should do ramp it up cardio. Here we go. Front knee, side knee. You tell me which, which one you like best. Very similar workouts in format. Different move. Different moves throughout. Made sure of that. But similar idea, right? Which title do you like better? I have a feeling I'm gonna say both throughout this workout. Here we go. Take it up. A little quicker. Whatever increasing intensity means to you, it might be faster. It might be driving the knee in a little bit more. You do you. This is your workout. Breathe, hand up. Are you ready? Ramp it up, power knees. Here we go, take it up. Little jump, if you want. Right through here. Yes, team, I know. Leg burn, calf burn. Don't lose that form, keep that nice good form. In three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, team. So here is what we've got. We're gonna take it right here. Up and out. Ooh, no, up and out. Up and out. So two legs, don't get into your head about it. Then we add a little bit of intensity like a jack. Here we go. So up and out, right? Up and out, left. I know, I don't want you to overthink it. Up and out with your arms. Double tap with your legs. Feels like a lot, but you got a team. Yes, and breathe. We're up, we're out, up and out. Or one and then the other, right? I know, little bit of brain work there. That's intentional. Hup, hup. Here's what we got, team. We're gonna turn it to the right and then turn it to the left. Here we go. Ramp it up, hup, hup or up, out, up, out. Don't overthink it, just move your body. There I go, overthinking it. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. There's always one that I know you guys are gonna tell me later. I never really got that one, but my heart rate was up, right? 
that's pretty much where I am, team, <laughs> with that one. All right, here we go. Last move of this circuit. We're gonna take it, lateral taps down. So think of your lateral lunge here. I want you to think about that mobility. So bent leg, straight leg. Then, if you want, you can just up your intensity here, or you can join me in a plank. Lateral taps, and then last 20. We're gonna jump it, or jump it. So up to you. If you wanna keep it all up top, you just increase your intensity as we go. If you wanna take it to that plank for level two and our ramp it up round, then hang with me there. Let's do it. Tap, tap. I really want you to use this to stretch out those legs, right? Open up the hips, reach out, reach down. One arm up, one arm down. Yes, team, three. So you can up your intensity from here or bear plank or just tap, tap. So I'm using my core, but notice I'm in this bear plank and I'm taking it side to side. If you're up top, you just increase your speed. You get a little lower and in five seconds, we're gonna ramp it up, whatever that is for you, either from this plank position or from the standing. Here we go. Ha, ha, ha. So I'm staying low in that bear plank. I know it's a lot, but you can also be here, here, here. What is it, team? 10 seconds to go. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, three. Ha. That's the end of round one. It was fast and furious, I know. But let's grab some water, team. Whoo! Feeling it. I hope you are feeling it, too. Heart rate's getting up there. Whew. In those zones. And don't worry if you don't have a watch. Just listen to your body. Are you feeling the energy? Are you feeling you're getting a little out of breath? You can still talk. Whew. Finding the levels that are good for you and using this recovery time. Recovery is part of the process. Let's take it back. All right, team, same idea, round two. It's gonna go super fast, I promise. It's a little bit shorter of a round and we got something similar. So starting, watch me here. We're gonna take it double step, cross knee. Double step, cross knee. Then we add a little shuffle step and our last round is a quick shuffle. If you wanna keep it just a double step the entire time you can, just up your intensity in a way that's good for you. Hands behind the head, three, two, to the side. Double step, cross knee. Use this time, this first round, to make sure you're getting low and you're crossing. So we get that core work, right? Are you ready? A little bigger shuffle, up your intensity. Whatever that is for you. Maybe it's this little hop step, but I'm still getting low to work the legs. Keeping those hands behind the head. You can keep just this, or we can add that quick shuffle. That little athletic shuffle right here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ramp it up for you. What is it for you today? How can you increase that intensity in these last five, four, three, two, one? Shake it out. Catch your breath, team. I know. All right, next we got a little V step. I love this move. It's old school. It's gonna remind you of step class or aerobics, right? We're going out, out, in, in. You can just do your feet. Or you can go up, up, down, down. Join me right here. Up, up, down, down. Wide with your V. So you're making a V with your legs, right? Left, right, left, right, right, left, left. Yes. Right here. Now, you can keep it just right here or up your intensity. Up, 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 up. Yes. Or quick feet. You don't have to even do the arms. You can just pump your arms. Maybe that's better for you. Out, out, in, in, up, up. You can imagine what's coming up next. If you want, jump it. Here we go. Wide, in. Or take it low, take it back. Take it low, take it back. 
10 seconds right here. Out and in, V, step, five, get low, get a little leg burn, you love it. Last one, and breathe, whoo, yes team. Ah. All right, next one, we got a rainbow slam. What does that look like? Well, we're starting with a rainbow reach over, so rainbow reach. I want you to take big arms, rotate in the knees and the hips. We'll add a little slam with it as we go, and then we're gonna do a slam burpee. So if you want, here, here, touch down, or you can even go all the way to the floor if that's your jam. I'm not doing it, because we're gonna save that to the end, but if you wanna touch down, you can, or if you wanna go full burpee. Starting here, here we go. Rainbow reach. Straight arms or slight bend, and really get that mobility. Side to side, open up the knees and the hips. When we go to round two, we're just picking up our pace and we're adding more of that slam in three, two, increase that intensity. Imagine you're slamming a medicine ball or a sandbag, whatever it is for you. Maybe you've done this in a class before in a workout. You can still get that intensity without having a tool, right? Side, big arms, because we can. All right, ramp it up. Three, two, down. Three, two, up. Three, two, if you want, all the way down, totally up to you. You can tell me in the comments later if you did a full burpee. Take a hug, hug, yes. Three, two, last one, and breathe. <laughs> a little tricky on your brain, but we love it. We're almost there, guys. All right, how about some punches? Here we go. We are taking it right here. We're gonna do a little cross punch. If you're not into punching, I just want you to reach. So we're doing cross and back. Get that mobility. Then we add a knee. Then we're gonna go jab, cross, jab, knee. Again, if you're not a kickboxer, you can just power up. One, two, three, power up. All right, this is the only boxing in this whole workout. So join me here, stagger. We got our orthodox and southpaw. Back, here we go. Cross and back. And here. Eyes up. Use this time to focus on that pivot. Really good mobility for our knees and our hips. And reach and back. Right here, five seconds. Then we're gonna add a knee to it. We're getting right side and left side on this. Ready, here we go. Cross and knee. Or reach and knee. Whatever that is for you. You can jump it or you can just get low to high. Turn into it, power it up. Yes, here we go. Do you wanna keep it here and just up your intensity? You can. Do you wanna ramp it up with jab, cross, jab? Here we go. One, two, three, hup. Up to you. You do you. 10 seconds. Just give it to me, because you got a breather coming. Ramp it up for three. Two, one, and tap it out. Same thing, other side team. And then guess what, after that, one more move. That is it. I told you it'd be short, fast and furious. Let's take it over here, catch your breath. So starting with just that back cross, focus on that mobility, let your heart rate come down, focus on that rotational movement. In three, guard is up, two, one, cross and back. And you can just do a little tap like this or tap it out, <sighs> right here. Yes, you can. <sighs> We're gonna add that knee in just a few seconds. Up to you, here we go. Cross and knee. <sighs> you can get low to high, or you can keep it high. Add that jump, or anywhere in between. And then our last 20, we're gonna go for it. Ramp it up in three, two, one. Here we go. Jab, cross, jab, knee. So you step into those punches and you power up with that knee. Yes, you can, team. Give it to me. Last five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. All right, team, this is it. This is your last move or last series of moves. 
All right, we're gonna start with the traveling climber. So we're gonna go up, 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 side, side, side. You can step it. Then we're gonna do a little hop, and then your very last round. If you want traveling climber through here, you can travel forward and back, or you can travel side to side. If you wanna keep it all up top, keep it all up top. But step traveling climber, hop, traveling climber, plank, traveling climber. This is it, team. Hang with me in three, two, one. Step, step, step. Take it back. And it doesn't matter, use your space. If you wanna get four or five steps, you can. Drive those knees up, power with those arms. In about five seconds, I want you to increase that intensity. Here we go. Whatever it is for you. We got 10 seconds here. Then last thing, we're gonna ramp it up for 20 seconds. You can keep it here a little higher or join me on the mat. Here we go, climber. Move with it if you can. You're either moving those hands side to side or you can move those feet side to side or any combo of the two. 10 to go team. Woo! This floor is a little slick. I'm used to my mat. We got five, four, three, two, breathe. Uh, yes. There it is, team. Short and sweet. Catch your breath. How you feeling? I hope you're feeling good. Let's tap it out right here. We're going to take just a minute or two to bring that heart rate down. A little bit of gentle mobility and a quick stretch or two. Of course, please get some stretches on your own. Get that mobility and flexibility work throughout your week, throughout your day, not just at the end of the workout. We need it, you know I try to get it in, but we need more than we do in these workouts. Let's tap behind right here. Again, to open up the hips. Little mobility. Breathe. Yes, you can. As that hurry comes down. How about little hamstring curls? Cross your arms in front and pull them back. Open up the chest. Open up those quads. Yes, team. I know. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Are you feeling that adrenaline? Are you feeling that energy? I hope so. I know some of those moves, it was like before you felt like you knew what we were doing, it was done, right? That's the beauty of these workouts. Let's get a little hamstring stretch. But I know sometimes, that's a little bit of the frustration, pull it too. So book, bookmark this workout, come back to it. Especially if you're someone who likes no repeat or someone who likes all standing. It's a great way to again have options. You know that's what I'm always striving for, for you to have options within your workout, right? Options that are good for you and where you are in your journey. For many of us, that level one is more than enough to get our heart rate up. For most of us probably, right? But then if you have the option to increase that intensity, I encourage you to do so, but in a way that's good for you. That is what these workouts are all about. That's what your fitness journey should be about. Challenging yourself, but in a way that's good for you. Not worrying about anybody else. Stretching through the back gently on the inside. And then let's come over to a wall if you have one. Hand to the back so we open up that chest. Otherwise, you can just reach it to the back. Tilt that hip forward if you're able little quad stretch right here. Otherwise, you can just keep it down or prop it up on something, but just tilt your hip forward and you're gonna feel that quad down through the knee, hip flexor, all of it. Let me know too if there was a move. I feel like I know what it is. It was probably that jack up and out, that turn. That was confusing for me too. And I programmed it, you guys. <laughs> Bring it up here if you can or keep it low, but tilt that hip forward. Whew. As long as we're moving, right? Stay safe, keep moving. Show up, keep moving. Those are the mottos. That is what it's about. And that's what creates consistency. And that consistency is going to lead to overall health, strength, endurance, fitness, mobility, all of it. Shake it out right here. Thank you so much for being here. Let's take those arms up. Little stretch to the side. Again, get some more stretching on your own. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that 
helps me reach more people and get more people moving and helps us keep making these videos. And of course, if you haven't already, check us out over in the Body Fit Athletic Club on the Body Fit by Amy app. So many extras there. Connect with me, connect with our dietitian, connect with this Body Fit community and get lots more information on the fitness and nutrition side. Roll those shoulders a few times. <sighs> One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your ramp it up cardio workout. Great job, everybody.